In our previous session, we have seen what the various definitions by Euclid were. He did put forth various properties also and he divided them into axioms and postulates. We saw what the difference between them is and we learnt what the various axioms are. I hope you have seen our previous session in order to understand this session more thoroughly. Let's see what we are going to learn in this session. Mm, till now, we have been not exactly learning about geometry. We have been learning in general about mathematics. Now, in this session of introduction to Euclid's geometry, we will see what Euclid postulated about geometry. Let's have a look at the Euclid's first postulate. A straight line may be drawn from one point to any other point. Now, let's take two points, A and B. So, from this, what he was trying to say is that there can be one straight line that will pass through these two points. But here, he just assumed and never mentioned that it's just one unique line. And hence, there comes another axiom that mathematicians stated for this postulate, which says that, given two distinct points, there is a unique line passing through it. So as we have two points A and B, only one and one line will pass through them. Even if we try geometrically to pass more than one straight line through A and B, it is not possible. So it is a self-evident proof and hence it's considered as an axiom. Let's have a look at few other postulates by Euclid. A terminated line can be produced indefinitely. Uh, now, we do not have any terminated line as such, we call it as a segment. And we know that a segment can be produced indefinitely on either side because we only consider the length in between the two points. The postulate 3 states that a circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. I know many of you will not need any explanation for this very self-explanatory statement but one example will help you guys to understand it better. So if you have any point, we can take any random point and with any random radius, we can draw a circle. The postulate 4 states that all the right angles are equal to each other. All the right angle measures 90 degree and hence all of them are equal. Let's have a look at the last postulate for this session. If a straight line falling on two straight lines, making the interior angles on the same side of it taken together less than two right angles, then the two straight lines, if produced indefinitely, meet on that side on which the sum of the angles is less than two right angles. For sure, we need an example to understand this postulate. Now, suppose there is a line XY falling on two lines EF and GH. Now, Euclid wanted to say that because of line XY, EF and GH have made interior angles. Now, the side which has the addition of these angles less than 180 degree, the lines will meet on that side. Now, here we can see that from postulate 1, postulate 4 are very easy to understand when compared to the postulate number 5. Now these four postulates are so simple and obvious that these postulates are considered as self-evident truths. Now Euclid used these postulates and axioms to prove few more statements and to deduce more statements to prove them. Now these statements are called as propositions or theorems. Euclid's fifth postulate has been studied extensively in geometry and many mathematicians also tried to prove that the fifth postulate using the first four postulates to make it a theorem. But all the efforts were vain. But then there was one Scottish mathematician named as John Playfair. He made an equivalent version of Euclid's fifth postulate and it's named as Playfair's axiom and it was stated as two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. For every line x and for every point y not lying on line x, there exists a unique line z passing through the point y and 
parallel to x. Now, even if you try to make any other line which is parallel to x and even passing through point y, it is not possible. Now, this was Playfair's axiom and this is where we end this session. We'll be using all these axioms and postulate at various places in geometry, but the statements may be a little different from these ones. And we will see them in our various upcoming sessions. Till then, keep watching, keep learning, and do not forget to hit the like button, comment, and do subscribe to our channel. Let's do it. Thank you.